Hello, I'm Michelle with two L's. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are Force of Light Entertainment. And today we are back for another first time watching reaction. Uh, today we're going to be watching a movie that neither one of us have seen, but our mother has seen and seemed to really like back in the day. And that is... And she doesn't just love every comedy. So this no. will be interesting to see. See what our mother liked. Uh, my mother's <laughs> sense of humor through this, through this movie. We'll see. Yes, we are going to be watching My Cousin Vinny. Uh, all I know about it is it stars what's his name from Karate Kid. That's that's what I know about. This Which movie. one from Karate Kid? Danny. I mean, oh. I, I mean the main guy. The, oh, okay, cool. The yeah. Karate Kid. The Karate Kid himself. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, that that's pretty much all I know about this movie. That and that our mother used to think it was really funny. Um, but so there's not much to say before this. But if you are not yet subscribed to our channel and you enjoy, what are you waiting for? It's free ninety nine. Come and, on. And you enjoy movie reactions, movie TV reviews, uh, live streams on Mondays at six thirty Eastern Standard Time. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell and give the video a thumbs up. But uh, let's go ahead and start watching my cousin Vinny. There he is. How do you say his name, yeah. Machio? Yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Yeah. Here's some for 37 cents. Here's some for 32. I never heard of that brand. Maybe we should get this one. Maybe it's worth a penny. Yeah, you're paying for advertising. A penny. Beans are protein. Beans make you fart. <laughs> one burrito and one large slush. I do not trust this food. Can you fill this up? Look, I forgot to pay for this. You could have gotten caught. What if somebody saw? The laws are medieval down here, you know? <laughs> ten. Ten. <laughs> there's a cop behind us. No one likes that feeling. Nothing to worry about until there's something to worry about. Just relax, please. Good motto. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that escalated quickly. <laughs> it did. <laughs> I like how most like fake southern accents are like the same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not a lot of variety. Uh -huh. Do better, Hollywood. <laughs> oh gosh. I think we may get a confession. So sh someone shot the guy at the gas station. Ooh. He's dead. Oh my God, who would do such a thing? Hello, Bill. I'm Sheriff Farley. Hi. You know why you're here? Yeah. I do. I'm sorry. It was a stupid thing to do. I'm willing to cooperate fully. I'll sign a statement or whatever makes this whole thing easier. He thinks it's the tuna. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's good. But I want you to know, Stan, he had nothing to do with it. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't planned out. You know, it just, uh, you know, it just happened. <laughs> just Stan happened. Tried to stop you. Why, is that a big deal? Aiden and abetting. Aiden and abetting? Aiden and abetting. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting an accessory? I didn't help. I didn't plan it. I didn't know what was happening. I found out later in the car. Why don't you get out? He's my friend. Your friend has put you in a lot of trouble. We're going to run enough electricity through him to light up Birmingham. <laughs> Gosh. We were friends at every... He smiled <laughs> like... <laughs> when did you shoot him? What? At what point did you... <laughs> He's like, come again. <laughs> You think we're being booked for shoplifting? Huh? No, you're being booked for shoplifting. I'm being booked for accessory to shoplifting. I'm being booked for murder. You're being booked for accessory to murder. <laughs> it's time to make your phone call. <laughs> God damn it! You need to call an attorney, a great attorney. Do you know any great attorneys? No, I'm calling my mother. Hello, Ma. <laughs> Ma. County, Alabama, Ma. Ma. <laughs> not, not too good, Ma. We, uh... <laughs> been arrested. Ma, first of all, we didn't do it. <laughs> Murder. Ma, Ma, please, Ma, Ma, it's a mistake, all right? We think they're trying to set us up as patsies, Ma. You know how corrupt it is down here. They all know each other. They all know each other. <laughs> Gotta get an attorney, and it's gonna cost a lot of money. That's a great idea. You think he'll do it? We got an attorney in the family. Wait, who? My cousin Benny. <laughs> That moment when you hear the movie title yeah. in the movie. Yeah. 
Well, they stand out. <laughs> I like her look, too. I know. Nothing. You stick out like a sore thumb around here. <laughs> Me? What about you? I fit in better than you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you blend. <laughs> Imagine going to jail because you accidentally took tuna. <laughs> That's pretty rough. Unfortunately, at some point somewhere, it's probably. <laughs> like in today's world, ballistics would easily just be able to know that there was no gun residue on his hands. Right. And he'd be out. <laughs> yes. That'd be me. I got somebody for you. Hey, sleeping, huh? Cute little guy. <laughs> you know, let's try our best to make it a simple in and out procedure. Oh, he doesn't know who it is. So think about what he's saying. Oh. Oh, gosh. Maybe we should spend a couple of minutes together, you know, to get acquainted <laughs> before we get to it. What's wrong with you? I don't want to do this. <laughs> It's either me or them. You're getting f***ed one way or the other. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna help you. <sighs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> you think I should be grateful? Yeah. I mean, it's your ass, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps getting worse. That's it. You're on your own. I'm just taking care of sleep for beauty. Hey, Billy. Hey, back off. Hey, Vinny. Vinny? Vinny bag of donuts. How are you? <laughs> I don't know where to start. <laughs> Just moving on. Had any murder cases before? No, this would be my first. <laughs> That's what everyone wants. <laughs> what kind of cases have you had? Assault and battery, armed robbery. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I expect he's done burglary, grand theft auto, drugs, right, Vin? Nope. <laughs> what, kind, what kind of law do you practice? Well, up till now, uh, personal injury. That's what he struck me as. Personal injury trials. Actually, this would be my first foray into the trial process. <laughs> the trial process. The court yet? Knock on wood. <laughs> How long have you been practicing? Almost six weeks. <laughs> Man, you graduated from law school six years ago. What have you been doing since? Studying for the bar. <laughs> to be honest with you, I um. He has it passed. I didn't pass. <laughs> <laughs> we passed a second time, right? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. Three times a charm? Not for me, it isn't. <laughs> Six times was a charm. Okay. <laughs> Six times. Hey, he didn't give up. He passed. Billy's first case, so what can I do to help? Nothing? Huh? A pleasant way to work, wake up. Breakfast? You think? <laughs> breakfast. <gasps> Ew! A charge was first to be murdered. How they plead. Ayana, my God. Don't talk to me sitting in that chair. He told me to sit here. When you're dressed in this court, you will rise. My client said, What are you wearing? Uh, wearing, uh, clothes. <laughs> when you come into my court looking like you do, you not only insult me, but you insult the integrity of this court. I apologize, sir, but, uh, this is how I dress. Next time you come in, <laughs> wear a suit and tie, and that suit better be made out of some kind of cloth. Uh, yes, uh, fine, Judge. He's like, where the heck am I going to get that here? <laughs> they thought they were getting arrested for, uh, shoplifting a can of tuna. I don't want to hear explanations of a simple question. There are only two ways to answer it. <laughs> my clients didn't do anything. Once again, the communication process is broken down. I don't want any commentary, argument, or opinion. If I hear anything other than Gilly Hot Gilly, you'll be in contempt. How do your clients plead? I get the point. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Gosh. Carburetor off the manifold. Supposing you skip the first step. And while you're see that Coca-Cola placement. Yeah. <laughs> you just learned the hard way that you got to remove the carburetor first. That's all that happened to me today. I learned the hard way. Pool and chicken. <laughs> wow, that's quite the name. <laughs> I mean, it tells you what's there, though. Yeah. There's no mystery. It's very specific <laughs> when you're in the mood for the combo. It's the dude from Dumb and Dumber. To oh. play the game of pool for $200, which she won, I'm here to collect. But if I just kick your ass? I could use a good ass kick, and I'll be very honest with you. Nah, I think I'll just go with the 200 <laughs> <laughs> Like they thought that was really funny. <laughs> Do I have to kill you? What if I was just to kick the ever-loving shit out of you? <laughs> if I was to kick the shit out of you, do I get the money? <laughs> if you kick the shit out of me, yeah, yeah, then you get the money. I have the money. All right, let me see it. Show it to me. I can get it. <laughs> All right, get it. Then we'll fight. Did you fall in your place or somebody else's? My place. Shit. <laughs> He's trying to get a client. <laughs> Is that a drip I hear? Yeah. <laughs> Want you the last one to use the bathroom? So. Oh. Did you use the faucet? Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you turn it off? I did turn it off. If you turned it off, it wouldn't drip. Maybe it's broken. Maybe you didn't twist it hard enough. <laughs> twist it just right. This particular model faucet requires a range of 10 to 16 foot pounds of torque. I used a Craftsman model 1019 laboratory edition signature series torque wrench. Here's a certificate of validation. I guess the fing thing is broken. <laughs> Time to get up. We gotta move. But you saw those two boys run out of the sack of suds? Yeah, they peeled away. Car was all over the road. Thank you, sir. <laughs> How do they have so many witnesses when it didn't? I know, they were in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> you have been to add. Thing? Uh, what thing? Me to say. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Oh, gosh. Court finds sufficient evidence exists for this matter to go to trial. February 2nd, 10 a.m. That's a speedy trial. I know. They have no physical evidence either. Zero. No. Now, didn't I tell you the next time you appear in my courtroom that you dress appropriately? You were serious about that? How <laughs> <laughs> did I get into this shit? No problem. I could win the case. I already got myself sent to jail twice. I could win this thing. I know I could. I think that once you're out there and you're doing your thing out there, I think you're gonna be really great. If you don't up. <laughs> oh gosh. So two and a half hours that thing's going on. <laughs> oh, they moved. And now they got pigs. I think that may be worse. Yeah. I would just take the other. <laughs> My cousin Ruthie's wedding. The groom's brother was that guy Alakazam, the magician with the ponytail. And every time he made something disappear, Vinny jumped on him. It was like, it's in his pocket. There, there's a mirror under the table, joined in the middle, and there's a spring around it. It pops it open when it's inside the tube. It's like Alakazam's worst nightmare. He was just being the quintessential Bambini. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. What does it mean? They were using the electricity. Oh, Ooh, that's not comforting. No. <laughs> He's got the money. How do I know that's not a bunch of ones with a 20 wrapped around it? It's 200 bucks. Fan it out, show it to me. 
Yeah, right. So that's what he did. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see there, tried another hotel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, if I was asleep, I don't even think that would wake me up. No. I don't think most of it would wake me up. Uh, I don't know, that bell thing would have woke me up. Is that freight train comfortable at 5 a.m. every morning? No, sir. It's very unusual. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just, just happened to me when he was there. <laughs> he said it doesn't come through often. <laughs> but again, of course. Yesterday you told me that freight train hardly ever comes through here at 5 a.m. She's supposed to come through at 10 after 4. <laughs> oh gosh. The defendants in this case are charged with robbing a convenience store, shooting the clerk in the back. If sufficient evidence is offered to prove these facts, you think you could uh, fry them? <laughs> what about reasonable doubt? Well, I mean, he's saying if they're proven oh, guilty. Okay. I just got a fax from a New York State officer. But they have no record of any Vincent Gambini ever trying any case in the entire state of New York. 20 years ago, I became an actor. There was this very prominent stage actor named Vincent Gambini. Maybe you heard of him. No. Nope. So now I practice law under my legally changed stage name, Cherry Gallo. Cherry what? Cherry Gallo. <laughs> Cherry Gallo? The big attorney. Yeah. I think that was a smart move. Yeah, well, the man is a serious... I like those jeans. Yeah, me too. I like the whole outfit. He's dead. Oh. <laughs> we agreed to get married as soon as you won your first case. Meanwhile, ten years later, <laughs> the daughter of my sister getting married. By the way this case is going, I ain't never getting married. <laughs> I ain't slept in five days. I got no money. And a little murder case, which... In the balance holds the lives of two innocent kids. Is there any more shit we could pile on to the top of the outcome of this case? Maybe it was a bad time to bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ten years. I mean, in the words of Beyonce, if you liked it, then you should have put a ring on it. Well, no. She was <laughs> oh, she's saying, engaged. She was saying, like, I don't know. No, she was saying they've not. That he said that they would marry after he won his first case, and that's been but ten years. But he didn't get his thing until like six weeks ago. So how would that make sense? Well, when he went to law school, remember he he went to law school years before, and he never could pass the test. He had a few years to go to law school, and then he could pass. Right, little Al. Look at that outfit. I like Al's. <laughs> They're cute. It's very romantic. Out here in this field. To the stars. Run around for miles. I don't see no stars. <laughs> oh, 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 honey, move my right back. Wait. The mud. Rough. <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh! This keeps getting worse. Oh man! Oh! Oh! <laughs> the clean white <laughs> shoes. They're toast. Oh, I hate getting dirty. <laughs> That's torture. Oh! Okay. <laughs> it's your suit. What is my suit doing in a trunk? I had it clean. I thought it'd be a nice surprise. <laughs> but I thought it was in a bag. Got you two hundred dollars. You gonna kick the shit out of me now? <laughs> oh gosh. 
That's brutal. You on drugs? <laughs> drugs? No. I don't like your attitude. What else is no? Now, I'm holding you in contempt of court. Okay, it's a f surprise. <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? What did I say? What? Oh, uh, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> and a verdict of accessory to murder in the first degree for helping Gambini commit this hyenas crime. Hyenas? What? Hyenas. Hyenas. Hyenas crime. Counselor, you wish to make an open statement? Oh my gosh. I need him to get with it. Come on, it's time to make your opening statement. Come on, Ben. Come on, Finn. I mean, come on. Show us something. <laughs> Everything that guy just says is bullshit. Thank you. Objection, Your Honor. Oh, yeah. come on. The entire opening statement, with the exception of thank you, will be stricken from the record. <laughs> he went with it. Ladies and gentlemen of the... Jury, um, January 4th of this year, my client did indeed. <laughs> that man's face. Um, um, <laughs> but kill anyone. He, he, uh, um, a lot of allergies. <laughs> we, we intend to prove that they. <laughs> <laughs> Prosecution's case. Thank you. <laughs> Smile for the win at the end. I know. That's it. Mm. What about everything we talked about? Well, I get a little nervous. A little there. nervous. <laughs> a little nervous. <laughs> how, how, how far away were you? About 50 feet. That's close enough to make an accurate uh, I, 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 identification. <laughs> I see you wear eyeglasses sometimes. Thank you. Now, were you wearing them that day? No. Well, as you see, <laughs> you were not wearing your necessary prescription eyeglasses. Prescription. <laughs> well, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, <laughs> just go I'm not gonna know it angle was your point of view he was kind of walking away from me so would you say you got a better shot at them going in and not so much coming out yeah is it possible two different men drive up in a similar don't shake your head I'm not done you <laughs> <laughs> go in shoot the clerk rob him and then leave they didn't have enough time well how much time was they in the store five minutes the boys went into the store and you had just begun to make breakfast so obviously it takes you five minutes to make breakfast uh, do you remember what you had eggs and grits how do you cook your grits you like them regular creamy or al dente just regular i guess <laughs> instant grits how could it take you five minutes it takes the entire grit eating world 20 minutes Ooh, those grits came into play yeah they did are you sure about that five minutes i don't know i think you made your point are you sure about that five minutes <laughs> i may have been mistaken <laughs> i got no more use for this guy i got no more use <laughs> for this guy what a way of putting it you're fired. I want him. I'll find a way to bail you out. No, don't. I'm gonna stay in prison tonight. Maybe I'll finally get some sleep. <laughs> he can't ever get sleep. Oh, he is sleeping. Yeah, why was he sleeping there? Oh, because it sounds like New York, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I, maybe that's yeah, what they're going for, kind point. of the, the sound. Right. When you saw the defendants, were you wearing your glasses? Yes, I was. <laughs> Over here, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Over here, dear. <laughs> Whoa. How long have you been wearing glasses? <laughs> As you've gotten older. How many different levels of thickness have you gone through? 
Maybe ten times. Maybe you're ready for a thicker set. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're okay. I think they're okay. <laughs> How far were the defendants from you when you saw them entering the sack of suds? A hundred feet. A hundred feet. Oh. Okay. This is 50 feet. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? Let the record show that counsel is holding up two fingers. Your Honor, please. <laughs> oh. Sorry. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up now? Oh. <laughs> what do you think now, dear? Thinking of getting thicker glass? <laughs> <laughs> it's a photos of tires belonging to the, uh, Defendant's car. We compared the tire marks outside the convenience store. Defendant's car. They're the same model and size and left the residue of rubber on the asphalt. What kind of equipment did you use? I used the Hewlett Packard 5710A dual column gas chromatic. Uh huh. Is that thing turbocharged? It's only on the floor model. What was the uh, result? The chemical composition between the two samples was found to be identical. Identical. It's like, well, they were there, like, <laughs> and right. They've never said they weren't. I just faxed the clerk of New York and asked him what he knew about Jerry Gallo. And you want to know what he replied? Gallo with the G? That's right. Jerry Gallo's dead. I'm aware of that. <laughs> I'm Jerry Gallo. C-A-L-L-O. <laughs> okay, I'll be here. You can call back after three. That gives you a stay of execution in this case in the next 90 minutes when you go to lunch they have no actual evidence there's no literal smoking gun here guys yeah can i help can i help no you can't help i wish you could but you can't look how you what does that look supposed to mean i'm a piece of shit because i can't figure out a way for you to help i like this this is uh this is our first hotel room right That'll intimidate Trotter. Could we get any farther away? Where'd you shoot this from up in a tree? It's dog shit. Dog shit. That's great. Dog shit. What a clue. Why didn't I think of that? You did it. The case cracker. Me and the <laughs> That's it. That is it. I'm out of here. Yeah. He belittled her a little too much. <laughs> I bet there's going to be something in that picture, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Is it possible that two separate cars could be driving on Michelin model XGV cars? What's the best selling single model tire being sold in the United States today? The Michelin XGV. What I'm asking you is if the most popular size, popular tire, is on the defendant's car. Yeah. <laughs> I will ask you one more time, one more time only. Please, uh, can I have a five minute recess? My next witness is not in the courtroom right now. Three minutes. This guy is like, gives him nothing. Like, no mercy. <laughs> like, this is what you call home cooking in sports. <laughs> Listen, please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I need you to come back into the courtroom. Come on, we don't have a lot of time. Please. Shut up. Give me this. What is it with you with that mouth? Shut up! You know me. Mr. Me. Gambini, tell me why. Please, sister. I need your help. I, don't I need give your a shit. Leave me alone. I found it. I found it. Come on, you'll Your Honor, the defense calls as its first witness. Uh, you are supposed to be some kind of expert in automobiles. Is that correct? Is that I'm like, correct? you gotta let it go right now, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's, this is the moment. Yeah, like, you can be angry later. Well, my father was a mechanic. His father was a mechanic. My mother's father was a mechanic. Four uncles on my father's side are mechanics. You know, your family's obviously qualified. What do you do in your father's car? Tune ups, oil changes, brake relining, engine rebuild. Being an expert on general automotive knowledge, what would the correct ignition timing be on a 1955 Bel Air Chevrolet and a full barrel carburetor? Suppose question it's impossible to answer it's impossible because you don't know the answer nobody can answer that question because chevy didn't make a 327 in 55 the 327 didn't come out in 62 however in 19 however <laughs> she's acceptable you know. this is the 
This is a picture taken by my fiance outside the sack of suds. I'd like to submit this picture of the tire tracks as evidence. Ms. Vito, did you take this picture? You know I did. <laughs> it has been argued by me. Two sets of guys met up at the sack of suds. At the same time, does the defense's case hold water? No. The defense is wrong. <laughs> How could you be so sure? No way that these tire marks were made by a 64 Buick Skylark or made by a 1963 Pontiac Tempest. This is your opinion? It's a fact. The car that made these two equal length tire marks had positive traction, which was not available on the 64 Buick Skylark. The 64 Skylark had a regular differential. Step on the gas, one tire spins, the other tire does not spin. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> 64 Skylark had a solid rear axle. The left tire would go up on the curb, the right tire would tilt out and ride along its edge. <laughs> that didn't happen. This car had an independent rear suspension. There were only two other cars made in America that had positive traction. One was the Corvette, which could never be confused with the Buick Skylark. <laughs> and that was the 1963 Pontiac Tempest. Were both cars available in metallic mint green? They what? Thank <laughs> you, Ms. Vito. Lovely witness. <laughs> I guess she's over her being angry. <laughs> I'd like to recall George Wilbur. You can stand down. The judge is so awkward, <laughs> the is. way he talks and looks. <laughs> How'd you like uh, Ms. Vito's testimony? Very impressive. <laughs> She's cute too, huh? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Sorry, Your Honor. How professionally he answered. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Any way in the world, the Buick that the defendants were driving made those tire tracks. Actually, no. Thank you. No more questions. Your Honor, I call Sheriff Farley. To check out if there was any information on a 63 Pontiac Tempest stolen or abandoned recently. Two boys who fit the defendant's description were arrested two days ago for driving a stolen metallic mint green 1960 <laughs> Pontiac Tempest. A 357 Magnum revolver was found in their possession. There you go. What caliber bullet was used to murder Jimmy Willis? 357 Magnum. The defense rests. Yes. Slam dunk. He did. Mr. Trotter. <laughs> Just take the L, dude. Yeah. Like, take the L. Why would you want to lock up people that are innocent? Yeah. The state like dismiss all charges. Yes. There you go. Ow! Yes. <laughs> now we're on board. <laughs> Dress is like peak 90s fashion. I think it's awesome. I I, no, I like it. And the hair with it is so fun. Thanks. Y'all come back and see us anytime. Now. Oh, the judge knows who he is now. Go on, go on, listen. Take your time, pick the right words, get back to New York, give me a call. Penny, you did a terrific job. Thanks, thanks. I feel like if I, if I don't get out of here now, I might never be able to leave. <laughs> Mr. Gambini, I owe you an apology, sir. I'm honored to shake your hand. You're one hell of a trial lawyer. Thank you. And, uh, <laughs> Judge. Oh, sorry. <laughs> he looks so tiny compared to the judge. I know. <laughs> what the hell was that all about back there? I had a friend send a fax to the judge confirming the very impressive legal stature of Jerry Callow. What friends you got in the clerk's office? Judge Malloy. So what's your problem? I wanted to win my first case without any help from anybody. I guess that plan's a mood. You win all your cases, but with somebody else's help. You have to go up to somebody, and you have to say thank you. <laughs> oh, my God, what a f nightmare. I won my first case. You know what this means. You think I'm going to marry you? Are well, you not going to marry me now? You can't win a case by yourself. You're useless. I thought we'd get married this weekend. That is not romantic. <laughs> Spontaneous is romantic. Birth is spontaneous. A birth is not romantic. <laughs> and that is that is my cousin Vinny. My cousin Vinny. So Natalie, do you want to go first? Do you want me to go first? Uh yeah, I'll go first. Um, I like 
liked it. I thought it was really cute. And because uh, I do think it was cute. I think it yeah. can go in that category. I don't think that's unfair to say. No. Uh, but yeah, like a cute comedy with, you know, Yankees and Southerners. Do people call them Yankees? Well, and, and such drastic, like yeah, even... Like even total, uh, that's but, always kind of funny to yes. see people from totally different cultures come together. Totally different cultures, totally different accents. Both had like... Like kind of extreme Extreme accents, yes. Yeah. yeah, so I, yeah, I thought it was good. Um, it was kind of more, because I didn't really know what to expect. I mean, it's definitely a comedy, but there's a decent amount of drama mixed in it. it yeah, there but, is. But it's not far enough that I would call it a dramedy. It's, it's more it's, comedy related. It's still lighthearted. Yeah, yeah. it's still more comedy than it is... To a true dramedy but right. but there is drama and it's not just like a it's not just silly all the time like a or something. yeah kinda it's not like that uh but yeah i enjoyed it i i thought it was good um, and i always think uh i mean i loved her fashion and stuff and this and the time period it was in but marissa tomei i always just think she's so like cute and adorable yes yeah she uh yeah her fashion was on point in this it movie. was so let's see any, any other thoughts? I'm, I'm trying to think what to say. We just watched it, but um, I mean, that's kind of it for me. Like it was, it's pretty straightforward. It's, it's one of those movies. Like, I mean, I'm sure the budget wasn't that big because I mean, it really is just, it gets into it right from the beginning within a few minutes they're arrested. And yeah, it's it, does, it does. It's a very straightforward story. That's right. what I'm trying to say, which, which and can have, work when it's well-written. Like and a this. lot of fun along the way. It yes. sounds like a, like a commercial for it. Something. Yes. So I enjoyed it. So let's rate it. We rate things on a hoot system. Five being the maximum level of hoots that of one can have. Of enjoyment. Of enjoyment. Yes. yes. I'm going to give this four out of five hoots. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was really solid. It, it made me laugh throughout it. I'm going to give this 4.2 hoots out of five. Well, that's pretty good. We now have the point system. <laughs> I, I added that. We didn't But I'm going to give it... But... 4.1 hoots. There you go. See, because you can. <laughs> we can do that around here. But yes, uh, what are you guys' thoughts of uh, my my Uncle Vinny? Or no, my, my cousin. cousin my cousin Vinny. I just my lost Uncle it. Vinny. I lost it there on the second. Uh, yes. What did you guys think of my cousin Vinny? Did you guys see this in theaters? Have you? Did you grow up watching it? Uh, share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, give the video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to, to be, be a, a force, force of light. All right. Bye, bye guys.